Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for subscribing and engaging with my videos. Today, I just wanna talk about which certification was the toughest certification for me. If you've been watching my videos, then you know that I am CompTIA A plus certified, Network plus certified, Linux plus certified, Security plus certified, CYSA plus certified, also got my Google Cybersecurity Professional certification as well. I did get my MS900 as well from Microsoft and that's it so far. So from my perspective, this is just my opinion. Everyone's opinion is gonna be different and everybody's experience is going to be different. But from my opinion and my experience, I will tell you right off the bat, the most difficult certification for me was the Linux Plus certification. Now, I think the reason that that was the most difficult certification for me was because I didn't have any experience in IT, in cybersecurity or none of that stuff when I took that certification, right? I got into school and I didn't have no tech background or nothing. Like I've said in my videos, I was not a gamer. I was not a computer whiz or whatever that just always messing around with tech stuff and gadgets, right? I was in, I'm more into fitness and boxing. This is what I do, right? Getting into this was a challenge for me because like I said, I, I'm brand new to the field. So I've said this in my video also before that when I started college, the Linux Plus was the first class. So I have two classes every every eight weeks. I have two classes. So one of my first two classes was the Linux Plus, and I forgot what the other one was, right? And fresh from the street into IT, Linux Plus. I've never seen a command line before in real life because I never had to use it. I use a computer regular, like a regular person. I don't be trying to use it and do any extra terrestrial stuff. So when I saw that command line for the first time, I thought it was in a movie. I didn't even know how to get to the command line before I got into school for IT and cybersecurity and stuff. I'm learning the Linux, I'm learning the commands, but it's a lot to remember because this is what you guys have to understand. For the Linux Plus certification, you have to remember these commands. Yes, you have multiple choice questions and stuff, but you have to remember the commands and the arguments and options that you could put with these commands to get your computer to do whatever you need it to do, right? Because of that, it was harder for me to, I, I couldn't remember some of the stuff at first. I'm learning, so when I start to, to take the class, my first week, two weeks, I'm like, man, I, I'm not gonna never get this. I'm not gonna never remember all these commands, right? It's gonna take me years, right? But then I just doubled down. I just studied, I know I'm the type of person, if I put my mind to something, I can get it done. So I just doubled down, doubled down, doubled down, and study, 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 study. After my eight weeks, I was like, I have knowledge from this, right? Let me figure out a way for me not to lose what it is I learned. I went straight into studying for the Linux Plus, right? So went straight into studying for the Linux Plus certification. And when I took it the first time, I failed. Now I didn't feel bad. I was like, I needed a 720, but I got like a seven something. I forgot what it was. And I failed, but the fact that I was close to passing let me know that I started off as zero. I started off not knowing nothing, right? And I almost passed this exam that other people in this field with a, a lot of experience take, and I almost passed this. I close, right? I didn't look at it like I failed or anything. I just of course you don't feel good when you fail but i didn't look at it like i failed i just looked at it looked at it like hey you close keep working you close went back at it and went back to study 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 and i finally passed it now 
I passed it by the skin of my teeth, but I passed it. Now, the, the point I trying to make is for me, it was tough. Now, if you have the experience and you work with it, because right now in my career, there's times I'm doing something. I'm using either Kali Linux because cybersecurity is what I'm in school for. And I really, this is what my life is going to be about. This is what I want to do only. Of course, I learning other things in the information technology world is beneficial, right? So cybersecurity and networking is what my mind is focused on. I want to be a penetration tester and stuff like that. I use Kali Linux. I mess with it a lot, do a lot of labs. And sometimes I'm doing something and off my mind, I know I'm like, oh yeah, the syntax here is wrong or this, this is the command that I need to do this. Right. And it just shows me that I'm remembering these things. I have these things in my mind, but that was only possible through consistent training, consistent training, consistent training, and believing in myself regardless. I am not the best test taker. It doesn't matter where I'm at in my career. I still have a chance that I might fail a test. It doesn't matter if 10 years, 20 years from now, I take a test. As long as it's not a beginner test, but I mean like advanced tests. Once I reach, that doesn't mean that I can't fail because I'm telling you, bro, I do not like taking exams. I am not the best exam taker, right? I am not the best because I'm going to be second guessing myself because there's a lot of times that and this is something i try to tell people right even if you pass an exam don't just take what you pass the exam with and just think that's how it is in the real world only because there's a lot of things a lot of questions you'll get and there is a right answer but there's another answer that's that could be right it's shaky there's another answer that in the real world would be right but the exam is looking for a specific answer, right? I'm not the best test taker, but I stayed disciplined, I stayed dedicated, and then I was able to pass the Linux Plus. That was a tough exam for me, very, very tough. And like I said, I think the reason why it was that tough was because I don't have no experience. And when I say off the street, I'm meaning with no IT experience, no nothing, just from my field that I was already working in. And I just said, I want to get into cybersecurity. This is my thing. This is something that I could see myself doing for the rest of my life. And it's very interesting. And I can't blame myself for failing that, <laughs> that certification, right? The main thing is I got up, I kept trying, I kept studying, I retook it and we got the W. For me, that was the toughest. Guys, please comment below and just tell me which exam was toughest for you. Which one was the toughest for you and why it was the toughest for you. And let's compare and see our stories, our opinions. This is a place for us to learn and just talk about our experiences and hopefully it could even help each other pass these different exams and we could all be successful thank you guys for locking in with my video and i appreciate it man i really really do appreciate the support thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one